inspection is part of a moral and legal obligation to do before we take a commercial vehicle on the road. So as a commercial bus driver, there's a couple things we want to check as we approach our vehicle. We want to take a look at the vehicle from the top to the, from the, top to the ground. So we're looking first under the bus, is there anything leaking? Has anything leaked overnight? Uh, uh, oil leaks, coolant leaks, uh, anything that uh, can, get, can be a sign of a mechanical issue. We also want to check a look to see if the bus is leaning. Take a look, is it perhaps leaning to one side, could be a spring, perhaps a flat tire. Uh, third, we want to check to see if it's legally able to be on the road. So uh, maybe the mechanics are working on it in, in the middle of the sun, on the window it may have an out of service sign that prevents us from taking the bus because the mechanics may be working on it for some reason. We're also going to check our CVIP sticker on the side to make sure that is uh, the vehicle has been inspected is within the range we need. We want to check our CVIP sticker that's commercial vehicle inspection certificate. Here we see that it is uh, on 2022 of the year and expires on the fourth month of the day. So this helps us to see that from a commercial vehicle inspection, we are, uh, this is valid to take on the road. We can now enter the bus. Upon entering or inspecting, we're gonna sit down. We wanna check our steering, that the steering is tight. Brake, once, twice, Three times. Okay, and now we're going to grab a towel and do our preacher, our under the hood inspection. As we exit the bus, we're having our three points of contact. I'm going to check my latches, make sure they're secure, they're not frayed or any bends or tears in them. Walk around the bus, make sure we don't bend into the here. Latch. And lifting up the hood, pull forward and hold up with your hand until it locks. So the hood's now locked. We're going to take a look at the passenger side of the engine. On this side here, we're going to zoom in for a closer look, okay? Now, starting from the top and moving down, we're going to take a look at the components we need to look at. So, for example, we have three fluids on the side. We have our coolant. This is our coolant. We're checking the level. It's at uh, cold, cold. That's a good level. We want to check the caps to make sure our caps are tight. Along the way, we also check our hoses. So there's hoses coming out from here, and there's uh, different clamps. We want to check the hoses and clamps are tight. We don't see any leaks. Along the way, we also see our wiring. Wiring is within a, a plastic casing, and it's secure. We don't want to see any loose wires. As we come down, we have our air filter here, and below that we have our windshield washer fluid. So our washer fluid level here, even though it's a little bit dirty, our level is about three quarters full. That's a good level. We want to have it at that level uh, when we're driving. Check the cap on here. It's tight. That's good. We also want to check our transmission fluid. So transmission fluid is on a dipstick here just below the coolant. We pull that out and we want to check and make sure that we have coolant or probably transmission fluid on the dipstick. We don't have to wipe it, uh, just check to make sure we have fluid on there. We attach it, make sure it's secure properly. Okay. Uh, second thing within here, we'll take another shot of where the oil filler cap is behind the air filter. So you can put your hand behind here and you're going to make sure your, uh, your uh, oil filter cap is secure. On the air filter, we're going to come in for a different shot. We're going to show you an indicator that uh, will help us to see when the air filter needs maintenance. This is something that is not uh, the mechanics take care of, all right? But we want to make just check that uh, we haven't any problems at this time. All right, we're going to come in for another look. Taking a look at the uh, frame components, we want to take a look at suspension. So first of all, we're checking our frame making sure that there's no cracks, anything that can affect the integrity of, uh, of the uh, suspension. Our bolts are good, they're secured. We have our, here, our, our, our uh, shock absorber. It's secure, the bolts here are tight, the bottom bolts are tight. 
we have our leaf springs. It smiles, we call it the Amazon smile. There's no cracks in it. It's secured by two U-bolts here onto the axle. So our axle, we have our U-bolts secure. Both of them are looking good. And we have our, our uh, control arm behind that. That's a round bar that controls the steering uh, for the tires. So we're checking to make sure that is secure. You may also see a, a hose here. This is our brake line. This is critical. We wanna make sure that one, we don't see leaks or any cracks. It's attached to the caliper. We're checking on the inside of the tire and we don't see any uh, uh, leaks are on the caliper. We're also checking the inside sidewall. And we're gonna show this from the outside, but the sidewall of the tire, we wanna look at and make sure there's no bulges, no bumps, anything that can affect the integrity of the tire. We're checking the rim. The rim is good, there's no dents. And uh, again, the seal is good on that too. Okay, so our suspension, again, our leaf spring, our shocks, our U-bolts, our control arm, our axle, our frame, and then our brake lines are the critical things we want to ensure are in, in good working order. Taking a look from the top, we can see the oil cap and the top of the air filter. One of the things that we can see from this side of the bus is if you take a look across the radiator is a container which holds the power steering fluid. So we can do a visual look at that here to see the level. We'll also check it from the other side, but uh, just another clue as to where the different fluids are located. And if you can see, we also want to check the wires on our headlights to make sure these are secure. There's nothing that can damage or affect our lighting. All right, we're on the driver's side now. We're checking the fluids and the hoses on this side. So we start from the top and we have our, our brake fluid, our master cylinder. We want to check the caps are tight here. That's good. My fluid level is about from here. If I put a flashlight on that, I'll see my dark fluids in there. I can shake the bus a little bit and see the fluids moving. Then I have my oil. So my oil dipstick is here, it's yellow. I pull it up and I want to wipe it off, make sure it's clean. And again, my bus is not running right now. Put it in and I check my fluids levels to make sure that my oil level is between the proper levels on the dipstick there. And I can see that we're good there. Propane buses will be clean, nice and clear oil. And finally, we took a look at our uh, power steering fluid. On this side, I'm just gonna take the cap off, take a look at it. There we are, good. The fluid level is good on that. And again, make sure my cap is tight. As I move down, now I'm checking all my wiring. I'm checking my hoses. I don't see anything leaking. My hoses are secure, they're tight, okay? And uh, we're also checking our booster pump here. The hoses on here are good. There's nothing uh, that is uh, uh, defective on this side. While we're here, we're also checking our fan belt. All right, make sure there's nothing tears or rips on that that is in good condition. And the blades of our fan, we want to turn, make sure there's nothing broken or any uh, anything that could be defective on that. And again, checking our radiator hose here. It's dirty, I can see it leaks, the clamps are good on that. So then as they're coming down and coming down to the frame on the driver's side. Once we check our fan, we're coming down to our steering components. So we have our steering uh, uh, column. We want to just check to make sure that's tight and that nice good connection here on the power steering component. We have our drag link or drive armature coming down. On there, we'll find some uh, cotter pins and bolts, crown bolts with cotter pins in them. Okay, we have, there's one here. There's also one on the end here and then on our control arm. So we're checking our frame. How does our frame look? Frame looks good on this side. We check our shock. Shock is secure. There's no leaks, no scrapes on it. We have our leaf spring again, smiling. Uh, we have our two, two U-bolts firmly connected. They're good and to the axle. So we see uh, no, no uh, silvering. We don't see anything that could uh, indicate to us that anything is loose or defective. We're also checking the brake line again on this side so each tire set will have a brake line we're looking there's no leaks there's no bends there's no cracks also the inside of the tire we want to make sure it's good on this side no bulges uh, anything to get to affect the integrity we have our rim the rim is in good condition there's no bends in it again anything can affect the seal of the tire so from here we can uh, from what we see 
that there are no defects, that uh, we can now start our engine and uh, continue with our inspection. So now that we've done our inspection, we're going to come around, unlatch the uh, hood to close it, just move the lock up, and now that releases it, come back to center. Again, gently put it down, control the hood, and then secure your latches. And now we're going to go into bus and start our bus. Okay, once we enter the bus, we want to check our emergency equipment, our three F's. So they're above here in the propane. So on this one here, we're checking to make sure we have our first aid kit. We check our fire extinguisher is secure in the green, uh, arrow in the green, which means it's in good condition. And we have our, our three advanced warning triangles. So once we open that, we're going to check one, two, three. We have everything, all our emergency equipment on the bus. Often this is also where they keep the hood front for your bus. Careful when you're putting it down, just release that spring and guide it down. And now lock it up and adjust your mirror accordingly. Now you're going to sit down and we're going to start the bus. Now we want to open our driver window. So with this, you just press the inside, make sure it's against there, and then pull the door open. You want to make sure it opens all the way. All right, so your windows again, just a little clip on the side, and the window should slide. We want to keep that open for when we do an exterior inspection. Now we're going to continue to start the bus. Once we're seated, we're going to insert the key into the ignition, and what we're going to do is adjust. You're going to turn the key to the on position. You can see a warning light that come on in your gauges, and then you hold it and let go, and it says start and progress and you wait until the bus will start on its own. Checking our oil levels, our fuel levels. We're gonna check our coolant to make sure it's in the proper levels. We're checking our battery here. We're checking our transmission temperature. So my bus is started, I'm now gonna do my jab. So I want my headlights, hazards on. First my high beams, two clicks, my headlights are on. I'm gonna put on my hazards. So they are the silver button here on the side. I'm gonna pull it up. I now have my hazard lights on. My high beams, just like on your car, just pull it up. I have the blue light on the dashboard, my high beams are on. Second, I'm gonna put on my strobe light, button down here with a little light on it, strobe lights on. I'm gonna turn on my master switch this is for my alternating reds and whites. So once I hit the start button, press the start button, shows my ambers. If I look at my crossover mirrors, I can see that my ambers are lit. So to check my brake light part of the so clearance, high beams, hazards, alternating brake and strobe, I'm gonna put in a, a brush onto the brake pedal and onto the seat, which will then light up my brake lights. So at this point, I will now exit the bus to check my uh, lights on the exterior inspection. Grabbing a broom, as you come down the stairs, you're checking your handrails, you're checking the condition of the tread of your steps, three points of contact. And now you're going to check your doors. Seal on your doors, you want to check. You want to check the glass. Both sides, again, seal, door. You're going to check your landing light. Landing light is working fine. And now close your doors. And now you can check your step. Step is good. Checking your mirror condition. It's solid. Also check the side window. That's the condition. There's no cracks on here. The glass on my mirrors is good. We're also going to check the condition of the frame. The hood is good by latches. Now, we have an eight-point tire inspection. So we're checking the tread depth, is good. We're watching the side wall, looking at the side wall, make sure there's no tears or gaps or anything that can affect integrity. We're checking the rim. The rim, there's no gaps in here. We're also checking the lug nuts. The lug nuts are all secure. Flags pointing in the same direction. We check our hub. The hub is not leaking. We look for our valve stamp. The valve stamp is tight. We 
check the mud flap up here, and then he put all those sound on the front tire. As we move around around the bus, we're checking our crossover mirrors, making sure they're secure, they're clean. We're going to check our gate, make sure it's tight. And then as we look at the front of the bus, we're going to start from the top to the ground. So we're first looking, we've got our third lights working correctly. We can see the antenna, sometimes there's two antennas there. We're looking at a school bus sign, it's clear and clean. Bus number, a red, alternating lights are working properly. We come down, our windshield is clean and clear, there's no cracks or damage. Our wipers are secured on the bus. As you come down, we're checking our hazard lights, we're working properly. And we have our headlights on low beam. Alright, we're checking our grill, secure, we're checking our bumper, secure, and finally make sure you check underneath the bus one more time, make sure there's no leaks since the bus has been started. As we move around now, we're going to be checking our mirrors, make sure they're secure, come around, check the body, and again, eight point inspection on our tire, for tread, sidewall, check our rim, Lock nuts, no silvering, everything secure. Our top, no leaking. Valve stem, check our flat muffler, and we put hollow sound on our tire. As you come along, check in, check in our side window. Clean, clear. We're looking at our step. When we come around the side of the bus, we want to check the mirrors that are secure here. We're also going to see you check the driver's window. We can Closes. All right, checking our red alternating stop sign for the line. We're going to look inside the fuse box here. So pressing the button here, so then I'll match it. We can take a look, make sure there's no smoke or sparks coming out, anything loose. We wouldn't open this if it was damp weather, raining, snowing. Okay, make sure that's secure. We also check our battery compartment. Press the button, opening it up. We see that it's here, the pin holding the tray in. We want to check our terminal, any corrosion on there to make sure it's in good use. This is secure, we're good to go. Close the door, and now we're going to continue on. Five, we step back, and again we're doing a visual sweep across. We're looking at the top, we have one, two, three clear flights. Looking at our reflective tape in good condition, our windows. Checking underneath the bus, we're looking across the tires to see the inside dually and make sure the brake lines, the sidewall. Also, there's the drive shaft there, and we have one hanger. We're going to look for four different hangers there along the drive shaft to make sure they're secure. We can see the differential there in the middle. But as we're looking through, we're going to check the frame. We can see the frame in this position, and uh, we're going to check also uh, the We check exhaust. the side of the bus. We're going to move in close. And under the bus, we're going to check our tire. There's two tires here, so we need to do a 12-point inspection. So there's two treads. We'll check the tread on one tire. we we'll check the tread depth on the tire number two. Again, looking at the sidewall. What's the sidewall? Anything, any bumps or bruises or cracks on it to give it back the integrity? We're checking the rim. Rim looks good here, no dents on it. We're looking at the lug nuts. There's no silvering. The flags are going in the proper direction. And now our hub has nuts on it too, and these are secure. We're looking at valve stem number one, secure. Valve stem number two is secure. And now we do two tire pressure changes. So one, deep and hollow, deep and hollow. And we want to sweep between. It's good. And then we check for any rocks. And then finally our mud flap. We also can check our leaf spring. 
right there, behind the tires. And there, now we have our 12 point inspection. We also want to check our strobe light at the top of the bus. We're now looking behind the left side of dualies. We can see the right side dually there for behind it. See the back of the differential. We also see the shock absorber there as we zoom in. We want to make sure the shock absorber is secure. We can see the brake lines and uh, the inside rim of that right side dually and the side wall. So make sure you check there's no leaks, uh, that it's in good condition and there's not, not, be nothing leaking from the differential. We're now looking at the exhaust pipe from the rear going to the tailpipe. We want to make sure it's secure against the frame. We come around to the back of the bus. We're checking a number of things again, starting from the top to the bottom. So first, our three clearance lights are working properly. Our red alternating lights are working properly and clean. Our school bus sign is clearly marked and it's clean. We have reflective tape around here. It's in good condition. Our four windows are in good condition. No cracks, no damage. We see that our hazard lights are working. Our four brake lights are working properly. License plate light, license plate secure, fleet sticker. We're checking our tailpipe. Make sure it's secure. Our bumper, also secure. And a number light is working properly. We're now going to open the door. We hear the alarm. We want to lock it in place. And now checking the seal around the door. Here, the rubber seal to make sure that there's no exhaust coming into the bus. We hear the alarm. We're also checking underneath the seats for the heater to see if there's any coolant leaking. We now close the door. There. And we have the back of our bus is now complete in good condition. And we're checking for any damage along the side. Any new damage. And now I'm viewing the side of the bus. I have one, two, three clearance plates I can get the top. My reflective cable on the side. Good. My windows on the side. Please clear, there's no damage or vandalism. Looking again, my reflective tape, my red marker light, my hazard light is properly. The general condition of the bus is good. We'll now move in to open up the fuel cap. I want to make sure the cap is on. And on a propane bus, you want to make sure the rubber ring is in the proper condition. My two emergency exits. On the right side uh, dually, we're taking a look across. We see the differential and we see the left side dually. And again, we see the bottom of the shock. We also see a bit of the uh, uh, fuel tanks. We want to make sure things are secure. We don't see any fluid leaks on this side of the bus. So as we're checking the side, we want to check our fuel gauge and our gas cap. So we want to remove the gas cap. On a propane bus, you want to check to make sure the rubber gasket's in here. Secure, no smell of propane. Make sure it's secure, and then close and lock the door. After checking the fuel cap, again, we're doing a 12-point inspection on the passenger side, do we? Again, your two treads, one tread, the tread is good. Okay, my sidewall, sidewall condition is good. My rim, my rim, there's no dents. And we're looking at the lug nuts. The lug nuts are, go are going in the same direction. There's no silvering, they're tight. My, my hub nuts are also good. Checking for my valve stem, one. Valve stamp two, tight, cap is on. We're gonna check, one flap is tight, and again, one pressure, two pressure. We're gonna sweep between. Make sure there's no rocks between. We can also look. And then our leaf springs, one, and check your leaf spring, two. On the right side of the bus, we're looking at the exhaust pipe there and the differential. We can see a little bit of the leaf springs. And again, we're looking at that left side dually, as we can zoom in here, there we go. And make sure there's no leaks on there from the brake lines. We're going to check the exhaust pipe and uh, just tap on that. It may leak sometimes because of condensation, and that's fine being a propane bus. There's our muffler. We want to make sure there's no leaks or exhaust coming from our muffler.
Once we re-enter the bus, our door is going to be closed, which deactivates our reds. And now we want to turn on our master switch and make sure our start button for our ambers. We want to deactivate our hazards. We turn off our high beams. And now we're going to set our, we checked our strobe, so we can turn our strobe light off. So now we want to check our left signal. And our left signal light is indicator is on. And we have our amber uh, alternatings on. And so we're looking in our front crossover mirror and to see our left signal light working. We'll also check our right side mirror to see the marker uh, hazard light work, or pardon me, this indicator light working on the side. And now we're going to get up and go to the back of the bus checking seats. So as we get up, we're checking the bottoms and pulling the bottoms of the seats up to make sure they're secure. And we do this all the way to the back. If we find a seat that's not secure, then we'll tighten it up. Make sure they're secure. Open the door, and now we're checking our left signal light, amber alternating, and tail light. Open the door, hang on to the seat. Make sure you hang on to the seat. We're checking our amber alternating, our signal, left signal indicator light, and our tail light. So that's the sat. And now on our way back, we're pushing the seats. Make sure they're attached to the floor. Now that we've checked our left side, we're going to turn on our right signal again, our right indicator. We're going to check our uh, amber lights in this. On the right side, we're going to check our right indicator on our front crossover. We're checking it also on our side. And now we're going to go to the back and check our roof and windows. The rivets on the side. We're checking the tops. And we're going to be opening our emergency door our windows. 90 degrees. We hear the alarm. And we'll do this for all four windows as we go back. Opening the roof hatch, this is not only an air vent, but also emergency exit. To open it as an air vent, we just push up, like so, and we can use it as an air vent. To activate it as an emergency exit, we need to follow the instructions here on the door. It says to turn the knob, so that's the red you know, uh, button here. So we turn it to exit, and then once we push this up, Alarm sounds, star goes up to bring it back down. You want to line up the channels here. Make sure th this piece stays stable. Pull down, click, pull down, click. Alarm stops, make sure it's locked. Now you can pull down the emergency door. Check again the roof. Open up our last two windows. And again, now we're opening the door, checking the right side, uh, amber alternating, right indicator light and tail light. Hanging onto the seat, open the door. And again, I see that the amber is working properly, my brake, uh, in, my uh, tail light's working properly, and my right indicator is working properly. On the way back, I'm checking on the floor for any garbage, housekeeping. I want to have my bus clean. So this is where you pick up and clean up your bus on the way back. Now that I'm seated down, I'm going to deactivate my signal lights. I'm going to deactivate my master switch here. Now I want to check all my accessories on the left hand driver's side. So first your heater pump, you listen. Great. First heater, low, high, low, High, low, high, low, high, low, high, your front heater. Now your defrost is a critical one. It's the third uh, switch or third dial on here. Listen. And that's your defrost. That must be working for you to take the bus out, especially when it's very cold. The other switch or the other dials are for directing the air either to your window or to the bus or passengers or whether you want fresh air or recirculating air. On the top are my interior lights, so I'm going to turn my lights on. I'm going to check in my rear view mirror or my passenger management mirror to make sure they're on. They are all on. I'm going to turn on my uh, step de ice and I can see the uh, green and I can turn on my mirror heater. So this is 
defrosting your mirrors and uh, clear them up when you have frost or when it's cold or wet. The bottom two are your interior fans. All right. Noise suppression is used to uh, cut all the noise of all the fans. So for example, if I turn all my fans on and hit the noise suppression, the noise suppression is, uh, cuts all the fans so I can clearly talk on the radio or to the passengers. All right. Yeah, the AM FM radio works properly. This is interior speakers, exterior, which there are none, but I can adjust the volume by hitting it mute, mutes it. Okay. Here we have our mirror adjustments, which we'll talk about. So we want to take a look at our gauges again. How is everything running? Are they at the proper levels? I see. Checking my wipers. Now also check my horn. Working good. Now check my radio. So the radio is a two-way radio. You press and talk, speak into the microphone. Your volume indicators are here. So training one, radio check. Now, the uh, final thing we need to uh, check uh, before we go is we need to do a brake check. And my seat belt, and we're going to check our parking brake. So to check our parking brake, we need to apply the parking brake. And then we're going to put the bus into drive. And when we put in drive, we're just going to ex uh, uh, accelerate to about 1,000 RPM to put some pressure on that parking brake and we see that it's holding good. We're just gonna hold it there and we'll let go. So the important part of this is make sure your bus is in drive when you have your parking brake on. If you put it in neutral, you're not really putting in pressure. There's no test on the parking brake. We're now gonna check our service brake. So releasing the park brake and now we want it to roll forward and slightly touch the brakes. We'll stop again. And one more time, we want to make sure it's working properly. Put a bus in neutral, secure the bus, and now we're going to do our paperwork and uh, uh, to make sure we have the documentation necessary for our trip. Documentation is found usually in the upper cabinet in the propane buses. And here we want to take out our pre-trip inspection book, and there's an envelope that'll have our documents that we need to use to make sure but this bus is legal to drive. Let's sit down and take a look at that. So we're in our documentation. Take our documents out. We have a couple of Southland documents we're going to take a look at and our government documents. We need five government documents for having our bus legally on the road. So first of all, we have our vehicle registration. Here we see it's come apart, but that's fine. It shows the bus number. It's a it's to Southlands, and the expiry date on here is continuous, so there is no expiry date on our registration. It shows it's a propane bus, and the license plate number. Okay. Second, we have our vehicle, our uh, insurance papers. It shows the date. It's good till uh, July first, 2022. We have a safety fitness certificate. This says that Southland has a continuous. Uh, it doesn't expire and it can hold a sa excellent safety fitness rating in the province of Alberta and it's signed. We have our commercial vehicle inspection certificate. This is important to have uh, not only certificate but also the blue sticker on the window which we'll show later and that it's signed. The inspection date was on the 11th 8th of 21. So this is good for six months. Finally, our in intra-provincial operating authority certificate. This allows us to drive a bus in the province of Alberta only. This is valid till April 30th, 2022. It's two pages, and the final page has a seal, and it shows at any point in Alberta that we can drive our, our bus. The Southland documents that we carry are our accident information, so should we get into an accident, we have to fit out the third-party information uh, for the other uh, vehicle, any and pink card, um, any witnesses, we can also fill out the information for any witnesses. We want to make a statement and uh, have a diagram of the incident when it occurred and hand that into safety. 
We also have the incident reporting form, which is we see any incidents while we're on the road or perhaps in the yard. We need to report that and turn that into uh, safety. Should we need any repairs on our bus, we fill out a driver vehicle condition reported, DVCR, and uh, indicate our unit number, mileage, and so forth, and any problems that we have or defects on our bus that need repair. Should we get into an accident, we have a passenger information form. This form is where we uh, mark down any of the children on board and their addresses. We take that off our run list, and we'd also radio in and let the let dispatch know who's on our bus if there is an incident or accident. Also included is a women's control form for our windshield washer fluid, antifreeze that we use, our coolant, and should we be driving a gasoline or a diesel bus, this is our the control form that we use. We also have a unit, a unit damage diagram which indicates the damages on the bus, so we can see on this bus there's really very, doesn't look like there's any damages on here indicated, or very few minor scuffed inches, no new damage, and it shows the inspection is done by the mechanics and they take a look at it uh, uh, every year. And finally, we have, because this is a propane bus, we have a material safety data sheet for propane. And we have a sample of that uh, accident form, uh, uh, some, an example of how we can fill that out. So we do have the proper paperwork. We'll put this back in. Uh, we need to fill out our trip, daily trip inspection book. And so, uh, with our bus, we'll find an empty page on here. We're going to show you a page that's already been uh, completely filled out recently. So we can see here, we have our bus number, our location at Edmonton. Uh, you indicate your driver's name and the date of the inspection. And what time was your trip inspection? Indicate that on that column. Finally, your odometer reading. And uh, fueling or not fueling, uh, that may be something you'll be doing later. So if you're fueling that day, you want to check that off at the time of fueling. Register the kilometers that you fueled at and how many liters of fuel that you had in the vehicle. Now there's the check boxes there for if there are any defects. You use these check boxes uh, to indicate a defect on your vehicle. So for example, if it's an exterior light check, you check here headlights perhaps are not running late or perhaps your strobe lamps not working you can check one of these boxes off under driver's remarks you put any additional information to help the mechanics in uh, rectifying the issue on the bus you're going to fill out the bottom portion check boxes there it says that you have completed a trip inspection and detected no defects or deficiencies in the motor vehicle that would result in the safety of its operation or result in a mechanical breakdown. Also you check off a completed aid vehicle damage inspection. In your inspection you can, as you're going around, you would check for any damage to the bus or any vandalism and check that box off that you've completed that. Finally, uh, you'd also, uh, third check box here is that you have in your possession a valid driver's license for the operation of this vehicle. So for a 72 passenger bus you need a 2S license or a 1S or perhaps if it's a smaller bus a 4S license to drive the bus. If you have any defects then you would complete the final box here which means you filled out a, a DVCR uh, uh, to turn in to have any uh, deficiencies repaired by the mechanic. Once that's done after 20 days this book is turned in and then you'll proceed with a, another book. The vehicle inspection is good for 24 hours and uh, that completes our uh, uh, our documentation check for our bus. We're going to our seat belt, make sure it's adjusted. The seat can adjust, there is a lever on the side here which allows it to go down or up like this. Also we can adjust our steering wheel, there's a clamp at the very back which allows it to tilt or to telescope like so. So making sure we sit down Adjust our seat height, our hands in the proper position, lock it in. Our mirror adjustments are found on the left hand side. There's two toggle switches which allow us then to uh, the left one to top and the bottom convex mirror. We can adjust those to the proper uh, position. And then our left side, our, pardon me, our right side mirrors also allow us to set those up. 
And finally, our passenger management mirror. We want to set up so we can manage the passengers. Our crossover mirrors are set. So once we're set, then our lights are on, we proceed on our road. We hope this video has helped you to master your pre-trip inspection. There's a lot of important points to remember, but it's for our safety of our kids on board. So thank you, welcome to Southlands, and enjoy your trip.